Hey y'all, it's Sierra from CC Explains It All and today I am back with another brief health video and today's video is going to be about urea plasma and mycoplasma. So I decided to do a video on this urea plasma slash mycoplasma because it's actually something that a lot of people suffer from but it's not commonly tested for or a lot of people don't know that they have they know they have something going on but it's like it flies under the radar even when they go to the doctor a lot of times and urea plasma is actually connected to bacterial vaginosis so some would say that it is another cause of bacterial vaginosis so without further ado let's hop into it because I really want to shed light on this topic and talk about natural remedies for it so to define urea plasma, it is a bacterial infection that belongs to the mycoplasma family. And mycoplasma is the smallest free-living bacteria found in the reproductive tract of men and women. Here are some possible symptoms of urea plasma. Vaginal itching, unpleasant vaginal odor, watery discharge, burning and or irritation in the genital area, pain during sex and or bleeding after sex pelvic pain and frequent urination, painful urination and fertility issues. So like I said, the symptoms of urea plasma are gonna be very similar to bacterial vaginosis, but some would say it also opens the door to yeast infections and UTIs as well, so it can mimic those symptoms as well. Per usual, my disclaimer is those are not all the symptoms, those are just some of the common symptoms and if you have urea plasma you don't have to have all of those symptoms it could just be some of them so if you're suffering from any of those symptoms make sure that you go to the doctor and get a swab done you're most likely going to have to request this test because urea plasma and mycoplasma aren't typically part of the standard screening so you might have to request it and ask them to do a swab and look under the scope for you um, to see if you in fact are suffering from urea plasma slash mycoplasma. Say hey. Hey. So for the part that you all have been waiting for, the natural remedy, the natural cure part, let's get right into it. So there's many natural ways to boost your immune system or help balance out the flora of your vagina. So I'm just going to list some. So the number one remedy I would recommend is the good old faithful peroxide douche. If this is your first time hearing out of peroxide douche and it sounds terrifying to you, please have no fear. Our vaginas actually have bacteria, good bacteria in there that actually produce a form of hydrogen peroxide. I will link a video below that discusses exactly how to prepare and do a peroxide douche properly. I'll put that link below in the description box. But that is like the number one go-to in my opinion because when you have urea plasma, just like bacterial vaginosis, your vagina is missing a lot of the hydrogen peroxide. It's just like being colonized by bad bacteria. So that's why I would recommend this one first. Another all. great remedy that's also like less invasive would be apple cider vinegar baths. So you would wanna make sure you're using organic, um, non-GMO apple cider vinegar, the one that says on the front that it has the mother in it. And when it goes for apple cider vinegar baths, I usually recommend you just pour like half a cup into a tub. You don't want a bunch of water in there, but you, do, you still want the apple cider vinegar to be diluted. But I would recommend running the bath up to like half the tub, like where it doesn't go past your belly button. That's usually my rule of thumb because like I said, you want the vinegar to be diluted, but you still want it to be potent enough to work. And you can do these apple cider vinegar baths I want to say seven days, seven to 14 days, so a week to two weeks, and it should definitely help and remove the urea plasma and help balance out the flora in your vagina to take the infection away. And I know I said half a cup of the organic apple cider vinegar, but some women do perfectly fine with a whole cup. Um, I personally would recommend half a cup, but a whole cup is totally fine for some women, so just listen to your body. So some other tips to follow or some suggestions while you're doing either your apple cider vinegar bath or your peroxide douche, whatever route you decide to go, make sure that you're drinking things like green tea, you're staying hydrated with a lot of water, and that you're on top of your vitamins and minerals, especially things like iodine and vitamin C. And last but not least, pretty please, I beg of you, I know it's easier said than done because it's hard for me too sometimes, but pretty please cut down or remove the sugar. Saying remove it is probably totally impossible and asking for too much, but cut down the sugar. Cause like I say in a million of my other videos, sugar literally feeds bacteria. Typically the bad bacteria. Bad bacteria love sugar. And guess what, urea plasma, bacterial vaginosis, all that, 
that is bad bacteria so i hope that this video at least helped one person out thank you so much for watching pretty please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications i love you all and have a blessed amazing beautiful day bye